Hello everyone, I'm here to brighten up your day here at IES Kids Online. Lights on! I'm so happy to be with you here as we start a new month. This month, we're talking about how trusting and following Jesus changes the way we treat others. We can be a bright spot of sunshine in someone's life if we follow Jesus' example and treat others the way we want to be treated. Now, are you ready to worship the Lord? Stand up everyone and let's sing together! Hello IES Kids! Today we're looking at a story from the life of Jesus that we can find in the book of Matthew. 
The writer of the book, Matthew of course, was a tax collector whose life was completely changed by his friendship with Jesus. When Jesus was about 30 years old, he began to travel from town to town, teaching and healing people. Everywhere Jesus went, big crowds followed him. One day, Jesus went up on a mountainside to share with his followers what it means to live for God. The thing Jesus said that day has come to be known as the Sermon on the Mount. And one important thing that Jesus said to the people who were listening that day is this, you are the light of the world. And later on, Jesus explained that he is the light of the world. What that means is that when we follow and trust in Jesus, when we live in the way Jesus taught us to live, we can shine the light of Jesus to the world around us. Wow, isn't it awesome? Look at this room. It was dark before, but the light from my bracelet helped us to see a bit. And then I turned on the lights from this LED lights to brighten the room even more. You and I, we have to keep shine brighter every day. And when you and I shine so brightly, just like this room, everything around us will also be bright and we can help the people around us to see well and live in God's light. Each day, we can choose to live the way Jesus showed us and shine His light everywhere we go. Let's see what else Jesus said on the mountain that day. He said, You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill can't be hidden. If you have ever seen a city at night, you know that there are a lot of lights. Now, back when Jesus was here on earth, cities and towns were often built on high ground. That way, people could see the city from a long distance away. If you were traveling along the dark roads at night, you could see the lights of the city up on the hillside. Remember what I said before, there can be a lot of darkness in our world. What I mean is not the actual darkness like nighttime. But there are also things that make the world feel dark. There are things that make people feel sad, hurt, lonely, gloomy, or forgotten. But when we follow Jesus, we can make the world brighter. We can be like a town on a hill, shining in the darkness. When we look for the needs of the people around us and choose to help, we shine the light of Jesus for everyone to see. Let's look again what Jesus said on the mountainside. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill can be hidden. Also, people do not light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand. Then it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine so others can see it. Then they will see the good things you do, and they will bring glory to your Father who is in heaven. Every day, we each have the opportunity to shine our light. We have the opportunity to live the way Jesus taught us to live, by loving God and loving other people. God has given us love, forgiveness, joy, and a unique set of gifts. But if we don't share those things, what happens? It's like we are covering up our light. I can't see the light anymore. Can you? All right, ta-da! Jesus said that you wouldn't cover up a lamp with a bowl. The whole point of the lamp is that it shines and gives light to the whole house. And we shouldn't hide our lights either. We should let it shine we can shine by showing love and we can shine by sharing the things god has given us to everyone around us anytime we show love and kindness to others we remind them that god loves them it could be something like helping a parent with dinner or cleaning up or maybe just being kind to someone who is quiet and sitting alone 
There are so many opportunities every day for us to shine God's love to the people in our families, neighborhoods, schools, and teams. When you choose to share what God has given you and love like Jesus, you shine His light everywhere you go. You can shine God's light. Say that with me. You can shine God's light. Now, let us pray. Dear God, thank you for this amazing truth that Jesus taught to his followers. Please show us how we can follow Jesus' example and shine your love to the people around us. Help us to look around this week and find the people in our life who need love and compassion. And then show us how we can do something to help. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. It's pop quiz time. I'll ask you some questions and you can shout out loud the correct answer based on the Bible story you just heard. Are you ready? Question number one. Matthew was a faithful man of God and he also wrote one of the Gospels. What was his job before he became Jesus' disciple? Was it a taxonomy scientist? Was it a taxi driver? Or was it a tax collector? You got it! Matthew was a tax collector before he became Jesus' disciple. Question number two. Jesus is what? Fill in the blank. Jesus is the bridge in a city. Jesus is the light of the world. Or Jesus is the tunnel in the forest. Yes, Jesus is the light of the world. Last question, what shouldn't you do with the lamp? Cover it with a bowl, put it in a dark place, or turn it on so everyone can see? That's right, you shouldn't cover a lamp with a bowl. You all did it. Thanks for playing pop quiz with me. Sometimes the Bible mentions ordinary things that have a special meaning. We heard that Jesus said things like, a town built on a hill cannot be hidden in Matthew 5 chapter 14. And people do not light a lamp and put it under a bowl in Matthew 5 15. When Jesus mentioned these things, he was making an important point. Lights only work when they are uncovered. Jesus said that we are like a light, reflecting God's love out to the world. Just like what is written in our monthly verse, let your light shine so others can see it. Then they will see the good things you do, and they will bring glory to your Father who is in heaven. Matthew 5.16 you can shine God's light. Because Jesus is the light of the world, our job is to follow in His steps and reflect His light by showing compassion to the people around us. Where are some places you can show compassion to others and shine the light of Jesus? Think about this, IES kids. See you next time.